Hey guys, uh, welcome to your love reading for um, Aquarius. Uh, this is going to be for October 2023. You can apply this to your sun, moon, rising, Venus signs. What do they want from you? So we're going to take a look at the, uh, someone that you're currently dealing with or someone that's coming back into your life. We're going to see what this person wants from you and then we'll finish off the read to see um, uh, what will happen if you allow this person back into your life or you, if you continue moving forward with this individual. So apply this to your own situation. You may switch the roles if you want. You can apply this to your own timeline. It could be with someone new, current, old. Uh, keep in mind that these are general messages. Take what resonates and leave the rest behind. If this message didn't resonate with you, you may take a look at your other, uh, take a look at your, uh, your other placements. Keep in mind that these are collective messages for the collective Aquarius people, not tapping into one specific person's energies in particular. So if you're looking for a reading that's tailored specifically to your unique situations and your energies, I suggest you to uh, book a personal reading with me. The link for that is in the description box below. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Hit the notification bell so that you guys get notified on when my new videos post and when I go live. Also, if you guys are interested in following me on TikTok and also on Instagram, the links for those are in the description box below. I do also post readings on there too. Uh, what else? Um, quick note that I um, there are impersonators uh, on TikTok that's uh, you know asking people for money. Um, if you do come across these individuals, uh, report them, okay? So uh, tell me about Aquarius. The person that Aquarius is dealing with or the person that is coming back into Aquarius's life. What does this person want with Aquarius? What does this person want with Aquarius for October 2023? Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs for Aquarius. For Aquarius. What does this person want with Aquarius? Seven of Pentacles and the Fool. I don't know. I feel like this person, like, you know, if you are separated from this person or if, the, if, or if this is a new person, this person wants to take things really, really, really slow. They just want to have fun with you, get to know you and stuff like that. See if this person is ready to invest in you full time. Okay. Uh, so we have the Four of Pentacles here and the Chariot. Whoever this is, like, yeah, I feel like this person wants to take a sweet old time. Right now, it could be that, you know, in this very moment, they're not really giving a whole lot. They just want to see what unfolds. They want to see what happens. They want to see, you know, if you are the right person for them. Maybe you're feeling this way towards this person too, Aquarius. Maybe mutually, you guys are like, yeah, let's take things slow. Let's get to know each other and just see where things go. Okay. Um, we have Judgment, Sagittarius Energy, and the Empress here, Libra Taurus. So ju Judgment, Sagittarius Energy. And uh, Empress Libra Taurus here. I do feel like at some point here, someone here, this person will make a decision on you. Yeah, this person will make a decision on you. I feel like this person will realize that they're falling in love with you. They're seeing you as their wish fulfillment. They see growth and expansion here with you. They could see transformation with you. Yeah, growth and expansion, healing, uh, the Empress. We have the King of Wands, yeah. I heard slow and steady wins the race. So I feel like, you know, even in my personal experiences, I feel like any relationship that's rushed, it won't last, you know? So I feel like it's really great to take your time with it, get to know this person, see if you guys want to invest in each other here, uh, you know, and, and just kind of like, you know, just kind of like, um, just let the process naturally unfold as it should here, uh, Aquarius. Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Wands. The Fool and the Eight of Pentacles. I do feel like this is a new person. Uh, I do feel like, you know, you and this person are just meeting each other. Some of you guys are still exploring other options here, trying to figure things out here. But eventually there will be commitment here. There will be commitment here. So, you, you know, I feel like you guys are playing that bit of that dating dance, you know? And I feel like that, that dating dance will lead to something more. Yeah, it will lead to something more here. But, you know, I feel like that's all you're, that's what you're looking for right now in this very moment. This is what you want in this very moment. And perhaps, like I said, you just don't know what's going to happen in the future, but you're hopeful, you're optimistic that perhaps, yeah, it could turn into something more here. Okay, the Four of Pentacles here and the King of Pentacles. All right, we have the Chariot and the High Priestess. 
I mean, you might have two options here. Yeah, you might have two options here, two Aquarius. You know, I, I do feel like there's someone here that's very grounded, very stable, that financially they're doing pretty well, they have their life together here. And then you have someone here, uh, this person might own their own business or something like that. This person, it's interesting, I do feel like someone, this King of Wands might be someone here who owns their own uh, uh, beverage business or something like that. And this person's a bit more fun. This person's a bit more spontaneous. This person tends to like to step out of their comfort zone here. You know, very. Uh, I do feel like these individuals, both of them are very independent, just like you. So like I said, these two can give you what you're looking for or give you what you want. But I feel like you might go with this King of Wands here. Yeah, an entrepreneur, a business owner. You guys might be business owners too. Uh, what else do we have here for um, Aquarius? What else do we... Yeah, I, I, so this is a past life soulmate connection here. What will happen if uh, uh, Aquarius allow this person back into your life? Or if uh, Aquarius continue moving forward with this individual for October 2023, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs. We have the Hierophant, Taurus energy. You guys have a deep spiritual connection here. A very deep spiritual connection. We have the Emperor and the Empress here and the Three of Pentacles. You guys are going to work together here very, very, very well. You guys are going to flow together really, really well. You know what? You're going to have options here, Aquarius. At least three people here. There's the Emperor and the Empress here. This is a true pair, you guys. Yeah, you're definitely meeting your soulmate here. The Hermit and the Knight of Cups. So I feel like... You know, you are playing this dating dance right now, but yeah, you are going to meet your soulmate here. And this soulmate is going to give you everything that you're looking for. This is a very mature individual. This emperor, this is a very spiritual individual. Uh, this is a very, um, uh, this is an individual that has really good morals here. Um, I do feel like this person will make a move on you at some point. Yeah, will make a move on you. And I feel like there's an awareness like, okay, you know, I'm dating, I, I'm interested in this emperor. But I'm dating other people, and this emperor is kind of like on the same boat here too. The uh, page, uh, the Knight of Cups, uh, and the Nine of Swords, the Hermit here, and the ta uh, and the Devil. One thing that you need to know about this individual is that this person might suffer from mental health here, depression, anxiety. You know, this person might have like maybe dealt with is dealing with some sort of severe form of mental uh, health illness here. But with the Hermit here uh, in the Hierophant, I feel like this person's staying on top of it. Yeah, this person's staying on top of it. Three of Pentacles here and the Six of Pentacles, the Emperor here, and the Seven of Swords. I feel like with the Seven of Swords here, I feel like this person's really protective of you. Yeah. Um, interestingly enough, you might have to be a little careful with this individual because I feel like um, their depression or their mental health situation, it might stem from some sort of spiritual attack that this person has gone through or is going through right now. And this energy might attach to you. So just look out for that. I do feel like this person's a bit of a shaman here, that a strength card in the higher fit, six of cups here and the five of wands. Interesting. I feel like in the past life, there has been people that have kept you apart. And I feel like, again, people might keep you apart again. I do feel like this might be a very, I do feel like this is your soulmate, but I also feel like this is a very challenging connection that you guys will be able to overcome though, okay? So Aquarius, I hope that this was helpful. I hope that this resonated. If it did, leave a comment down in the comment section below. Like this video, share this video, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I'll speak to you guys in the next one. Thanks guys, bye.